All right, problem number 14, wastewater collection math from sewergeek.com. The circular tank is 42 feet in diameter and 33 feet deep. If the tank is completely full and a 600 GPM pump is supplied, how long will it take to remove 9 feet of water from the tank? Well, let's take a look at this guy. We'll do some simplification. First thing I want to do is we're going to take 9 feet of water out of the tank. That means it's circular, it's 42 feet in diameter. It's 33 feet deep. But actually, nice drawing, it could be 9 million feet deep. We're only taking 9 feet of water out of the tank. So even though it's 33 feet deep, that doesn't mean anything. So we'll get rid of that. This is what's important, is the 9 feet. And we have a 600 GPM pump removing gallons per minute, removing water from the tank. There's nothing coming in, so all of the water being removed is going to contribute to lowering the level. Now the other thing I mentioned earlier is we come back and we take a look at these answers. 2 hours 58 minutes, 2 hours 35 minutes. Hmm. What if this was 0.58 hours? Let's take a look. Point, oops. Point 8 times 60 is 34.8 or 35. So they're putting that red herring in there for you to pick because what's probably going to happen is the answer is going to be 2.58 hours. And you're going to do 2.58 and go, oh, there it is right there. Except it's 2. 0.58 hours is 0.5 is a half an hour, so 0.5 is just a little bit more. So 35 minutes. The answer is going to be C. We don't need any calculator. All we need to do is step back and look at the problem for a minute. It's multiple choice math. It's not a rocket. All right, so let's do some more simplification now that we know what the answer is going to be. 600 gallons per minute. We could turn that into cubic feet per minute. Or we can turn the tank into gallons. Eh, either way, I won't just turn the tank into gallons. So we're going to need the volume of the tank of a round tank, which is going to be basically the area formula plus the depth. So it's going to be diameter squared times 0 0.785 times the depth. So we'll make it D. So that's going to equal 42 squared, and that's in feet, times 0.785 times 9 feet. So I've got 2 feet, another feet, so it's going to be in cubic feet. So let's do this. 42 squared times 0.785 seven eight five times nine that's going to give me twelve thousand four hundred and sixty two point six six I'll make it point seven feet cubed and that's our answer for the feet cubed except we want to put it in the same units so we're going to convert it to gallons so I'm just going to go times 7.48 gallons per foot cubed. These foot cubes are going to cancel out and I'm going to get gallons. And that's going to get close to my... It's going to get a little tight so I'll just move my 600 gallons per minute. 600 gallons per minute. So that's going to be 12,000... 12 times... We'll round that down to 12, and that up to 8. So 12 times 8 is 96. So we should have 
something like close to a million ninety nine hundred sixty thousand. So let's see, twelve four sixty two point seven times seven point four eight is going to give me ninety. Well, that was off a little. I was off by a couple, few hundred thousand, ninety three thousand two hundred and twenty. Point nine nine, yeah, two twenty one. So it's ninety three thousand two hundred and twenty one gallons. So that's how much this is, ninety three thousand two hundred and twenty one gallons. But I went gallons per minute, so I'm going to take nine three two two one gallons divided by six hundred gallons per minute. Gallons are going to cancel out. I'm going to get minutes. So I'm just going to go divide it by 600. And I'm going to get 155.36 155.4 minutes. Well I want that converted to hours. Alright. So I'm going to go divide by 60 minutes per hour. They'll cancel out and I'll get hours. Divide by 60. 2.58 hours. Just like we knew it would over here. So I'm going to go, I'm falling off the board, so I'm going to come up here. 2 hours plus 0.58 hours times 60 hours per minute. So 0.58 times 60 minus 2. I'm going to go times 60. It's going to give me 35.3 minutes. So I'll drop this down. I got 2 hours, 35.3 minutes. There we are. Did all that math and we knew the answer in the first place.